we are back. So today we read the book Peek in My Pocket and I have a very, very special game you could play with your family today. It's not really an art project, it's more of a game. I want you to take a piece of construction paper and I want you to fold it, but I don't want you to fold it in half. I want you to fold it just a little bit so that there's a part of the top that you can still see. So see how I folded it, but I didn't fold it completely in half. Then you could take the sides, or if you have a stapler, you could staple the sides closed so that you have your very own pocket that you could put things into. One more step, I want you to write the word pocket on the front. So I'm looking at my book to know how to write the word pocket. You might want a grown up to write the word pocket on a different piece of paper for you so you could look at the letters in the word pocket. Or you could maybe look up the word pocket on your computer and look at your computer to look at the word. But I'm gonna look at the word on my book. So I can tell that the first letter in the word pocket is what guys, what letter is that? If you said P, -p, -p you are right. So I'm gonna write a P on my paper. So P is a straight line down, and then I have to go back up to the top and make a curved line to the middle. Not all the way down, just to the middle. See that P? And what's the next letter, guys? It's an O. So my next letter is going to be an O for a pocket, not just a circle. And my next letter is Somebody in our class has this letter in their name. It's a C for CC. So a C starts at the top and it just goes around, down, and back up. It's almost a circle except you don't close it. Now I'm writing kind of slowly because I'm writing upside down so you can see the letters as I write it. If I was writing the right way, I probably wouldn't have made that C so big, but that's okay because I'm just gonna roll with it. It doesn't matter if my C is a little bit bigger than my P and my L, who cares, right? I'm doing the best that I can do and that's all that matters. What's the next letter after the C? A K. Now K is tricky, I'm not gonna lie. So here's how you make a K. You make a straight line going down and then you have to find the middle of that K and I like to make a little dot in the middle of the line. So I make a dot in the middle of the line. Now, one line has to go up and one line has to go down. So I just go to that dot in the middle of my line and I make a line going up and I make a line going down for my K. And then an E is next and I'm gonna make a capital E. So it's a straight line down and it's one, two, three lines across, just like Ezra and Aal and Ella. And then the very last letter is a T, and that's just a straight line with a straight line across. So I have P-O-C-K-E-T for pocket. And, you know, some of my letters are a little bit big and some of my letters are a little bit small. Is that okay? Totally okay, because I did my best work and I wrote the word pocket on my pocket. Now, here comes the game part. Now, have the grown-ups, or if you have a brother and sister at home, have them close their eyes and put their heads down and tell them not to peek. Go find something in your house that you could put into your pocket. We played this game at school a couple times before Gavert Fladwood had to go and have baby Thea. Find something that would fit into your pocket. I'm gonna put a marker in there, just like that. Now bring it back to your grown up or your brother or sister and don't show them what's inside and you have to give them clues. Remember, giving clues is not telling them that it's a marker inside there. You could say, it's something brown. You can write and draw with it. It's kind of stinky. And maybe they'll say, it's a crayon. And you'll say, no, it's not a crayon. And maybe they'd say, it's a marker. And you'd say, yep, it's a marker. And then somebody else in your family could take the pocket and go find something to hide in there and give you clues and you have to try and guess what's in the pocket. It's a very fun game to do and it's all about guessing and giving clues and trying to figure out what's inside that pocket. And it's a game you can play over and over again this summer. Super fun. So I hope you guys have a really fun time playing the pocket game today and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.